Today on Food Finds, we're going to Kansas City, home of world-class jazz and barbecue, and no place in town does it better than Fiorello's Jack Stack. Something I've been eating all my life, I could eat it every single day, twice a day. Then, if you like hot sauce with your barbecue, you'll love original Juan. The motto around here is, pain is good. We're chili heads and, you know, we love this stuff. But there's a lot more to Kansas City than barbecue. We'll show you a Croatian treat from the Strawberry Hill section of town, povetica. What we get is povetica. No matter how you slice it, it's delicious. And finally, Stevenson's Apple Farm in nearby Independence. Harry Truman used to stop by for their apple butter, and the place hasn't changed much since. All that plus the American Royal Barbecue Festival. When you talk about Kansas City, you're talking about barbecue. So get ready to chow down, because Kansas City, here we come. Most of us have heard of strudel and nut rolls, right? Well, in Kansas City, they make a bread that's similar, but uniquely Croatian. It's called povetica. Here at Strawberry Hill Bakery, making povetica is strictly a family affair. And who bakes this old world Croatian treat? Why, the O'Leary's, of course. Every time uh, we meet people and tell them we make Croatian bread called povetica, the first thing they tell us is, what in the world is an Irishman doing making povetica? And we have to go through the story of our, our heritage, and it's always a, kind of a fun story to tell. The story starts with their father, Harley O'Leary. Once Harley married into a Croatian family, he soon realized that povetica was an integral part of every Croatian holiday and celebration. As a matter of fact, we have a, there's a, a photograph of uh, my father's wedding and him and his new bride cutting the wedding cake with a plate of povetica. Sadly, Harley divorced and his povetica connection dried up. So nothing to do but start making it himself. Harley's gone now, but the company he started is still going strong. His sons, Dennis and Mark, have become expert in the fine art of rolling povetica, which is a whole lot harder than it looks. Now you look at it and think, how the heck did it get those swirls in there? And uh, the process is, is a long, tedious process, and uh, that's why the recipes have kind of died. People don't want to put that much work into a product like that anymore. Each loaf of povetica starts with a rather heavy ball of dough. We used to take turns of who was going to lift it up, just because it was so heavy. And uh, over the years, I think it's probably the equivalent of a house, uh, of the dough ball that we've lifted. Meanwhile, Mark's wife, Julie, is busy chopping up nuts that will be added to the bread. Even their daughter would get in on the povetica making. My daughter, Sarah, would tell Grandpa Harley that she was the boss and he was the baker. And he would just kind of chuckle about that and let her believe that that's what, that's what it was. <laughs> the secret to povetica is to get the dough very thin, a process that, believe it or not, used to be done by hand. Today, the O'Leary's run the dough through this machine twice to get it thin enough for their layered povetica. Once the dough is ready, a creamy nut mixture is spread onto it and the povetica is carefully rolled up, kind of like a nut loaf. But here's where things start to swirl. Customers say they can't believe how we get that swirl all inside. And um, I tell them it's just pretty easy. <laughs> Strawberry Hill Bakery used to be located on Strawberry Hill, the old Croatian section of town. This is the old Strawberry Hill. Prior to 1903, this was covered with wild strawberries. And then the flood came along and all the Croatian people moved across the river up here onto the hill. Francie Sachin helps keep the area's Croatian heritage alive here at the Strawberry Hill Museum. And she knows a thing or two about povetica. In fact, she still makes it herself from scratch. You probably won't believe this, but yes, I do make my own povetica. Very labor intensive. From the time I start grinding the walnuts till I finish all the baking and the cooling and the wrapping and ready for the freezer, it's about 14 hours on my feet for 12 loaves. 
You can see why most Kansas Cityans leave the povetitsa making to the O'Leary's. It may look like a light pastry, but povetitsa is not for lightweights. When anybody picks up a loaf of povetitsa, it's always the same response. It's, it's you know, they're expecting a 16 ounce or 12 ounce item, and uh, we, uh, at, at two and a half pounds, it is just, uh, the first thing they do is, oh my gosh, how heavy is that? And unlike a lot of breads, povetitsa will keep for several weeks in the fridge and up to six months in the freezer. So you can enjoy this authentic Croatian treat year round. The O'Leary's tell us the best way to slice povetitsa is first turn it upside down, then use a serrated knife. That way, the bread won't fall apart when you slice it. Voila. If you're planning a Croatian celebration or a hearty breakfast, some povetitsa will make it unique. Strawberry Hill Bakery ships it in five different flavors that'll keep in the freezer for months at a time. Call them at 800-634-1002. There's really nothing like it. Uh, it's a dessert, and yet it's a bread.